All right, guys. So hopefully some of you guys watched the video I had in regards to this uh, A Data HD650 hard drive, and one of the reasons that I had bought it was uh, for traveling. And one of the things I don't want to have to bring a lot of times is my laptop. So this is my laptop here. I'll just bring it out. Right. So that's my laptop right here. Um, it's not that it's huge, huge, but you know it's 15 inch um, and you know, a lot of times I just want to carry it, uh, and if I'm definitely on a motorcycle trip or anything like that, I don't want to carry this because, you know, for one, it's expensive, and I don't want it to break, so I don't want to carry that in my saddlebag or anything like that that could hurt it. So I was trying to figure out uh, a way that I could be able to take my cameras, so like right now I'm filming this part on a uh, Yomi Yi, again, I never pronounced that right, I think, but hopefully that's right. As well as a lot of times one of these SJ cams, you know, little SJ cam right here, 4000. And, you know, they take uh, micro SD cards. So, you know, there's your micro SD card inside here. It's a little tight right there, but there it is, right? Little tiny micro SD card with the adapter that I have for usually plugging into my laptop. Anyway, um, I had one of these and we basically use this and this is a uh, mobile light g2 from kingston um, they're not very expensive you know about 60 bucks or so and in the manual for this it talks about how you can transfer from an sd card to a usb stick so my thought was i wonder if it had enough power in it because it has i don't know exactly how much somewhere around a 5000 milliamp i think um battery inside this so my thought was it would have enough power hopefully, possibly, to power this drive. So that's what we're going to check today. So this right now, this little card, um, has somewhere around three, three and a half gigs of footage on it, uh, taken with my SJ cam. And I want to see if I can get it from here to here with this. So that's the hopes. And uh, if all goes well, this could be a much cleaner uh, way to travel than having to bring my laptop, which doesn't have a big hard drive in it anyway, which means I'd have to bring that and only have to bring this extra piece instead of the laptop, which again would give me the ability to charge my phone in that. So we're going to plug these in right now and see how it goes. Okay, so I've got my phone, my hard drive, and SD card and the reader here. So I have to do a few things here and I may speed through a bit of it. Um, I'm gonna take these now, and I have my computer here, but hopefully you can see nothing's plugged into the computer, right? The only thing I have plugged in is my phone. Um, we're gonna take this SD card. Now this SD card has the micro SD card in it, which is came from my SJ cam. I'm gonna slide that in there. And we're gonna take the USB port of this and one of these ways, Turn this on, okay. I'm just gonna move this off to the side just so you guys can see that. Um, now this, you just so you know, you have to kind of click and hold. And I'm gonna click and hold this till the lights, you gotta wait for them all to go on, there they go. So you'll see the blue light and the green light go on. Now, at this point in time, I have to kind of wait a little bit because I have to wait for this one here. So this is a little Wi-Fi signal that goes on so I want that to turn on so I can get my phone to connect to it so we'll just wait how long that decides to take and uh, what I'm gonna do here is go into my settings while that's happening and I will turn off my Wi-Fi for a minute so that it has the opportunity there it goes so you can actually see the blue hopefully you can see that the blue light turn on for the Wi-Fi so I'll turn this on and I've just named mine mobile light uh, you can name it whatever you want. The very first time you configure this, it actually goes through and asks you what to name all this stuff. But I've done all that already. So we're just going to see. Hopefully it shows up here right away. Here comes a whole bunch. There it is, right at the bottom. See where it says mobile light there? Um, and I'm going to tap that. And I'm going to make this so you don't see all the rest of my stuff. Probably better. I'll just make that big screen for you. It's better. So you'll see now at the top that it's connected to mobile light, which is good. Okay. 
So at this point in time, we have, like I said, the SD card plugged in, we have the hard drive plugged in, and hopefully it has enough power to get them all going. So we are going to move over here to my mobile light app, which is right up at the top here. So I have it up here. So I'll tap that. And you'll see it says connecting to mobile light wireless reader. That's good. And there they go. Okay, so first off, let's click on the SD card. So we're just going to tap on it. And it should be under the DCIM folder, movie folder. And there's a bunch of files. So you'll see them, you know, one gig, one gig, one gig, a small one, 32 megs, and a big one. So I'm not going to run through the whole thing, like how long this takes to move these files. Now, you can tell from here I have about three and a half gigs. Okay. So I'm going to, at this point in time, you'll see in the bottom left hand corner there's a check mark. Now you can move one at a time, but if I want to move a lot of them, I would click on the very bottom here and I'd go, I want this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. You tap on all of them to allow them. Now in the bottom you can hit the the second one over, which is the standard share button. I'm doing this from a from again from an Apple device, so if this was on Android it would look a little different probably. Um, and then this one, so next one over here, so trash can, we're not going to touch that one. Uh, but the next one here, which it looks like the two screens, is the move. So we're going to copy them. So we're keeping them, we're basically moving them from one device to another one. So I'm going to tap on that, and you'll see it says choose a destination. So offline files will actually put it into the Kingston app so that they're here, so they'd be on the phone. Pointless me moving them right now into the SD storage, but I could move them to a different folder if I wanted. I'm going to click on the USB drive and see what happens there. So we'll tap on that. All right. So that's pretty good. So you'll see I actually have a folder in there called May 15th. So today's actually May 1st. So I'm going to put that in. So you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner a little plus button. So I'm going to tap that. And I'm going to call this May space one video test. May one video test. Save. And... Cool. So right off the bat, we can tell that it's accessing the drive because it's writing files. So I'm going to tap on that. And in the very bottom, um, we have a move and a copy. I'm going to hit the move and tap. Now what we should see, hopefully, oh, oh, I'm impatient. That's why. See at the bottom? I don't know if you can see this right down here. We have a little line going across. That's what it is. I'm a little impatient with that movement. So, one of the things that I wish it wasn't necessarily what had to happen, but this is Wi-Fi controlled by the phone, right? So, the phone has to send the commands back and forth between the two devices. So, it would be nice if it was one piece, whereas the software just moved the file. But, there's a bit of Wi-Fi involved with this to send the commands across. I'm going to cut out of this and cut back in a second and we'll talk about how long this took. But this is the software and as you can see it's working um, slowly but you can see that progress bar going on the bottom which is great. Uh, and I will give you an estimate because I do believe this is now moving to three and a half gigs. Uh, again just impatient. Watch for that that bar, that little line at the bottom there because that's an important one. Okay, so I am going to come out of this for a minute, and uh, well, once this is finished, and uh, I'll tell you how long it took. Okay, so the file's finished moving over, um, and if you look inside there, I tried it again, and I actually put it in the May 15th folder by accident just to see what was going on. Uh, I'm moving some other files right now um, in the background. But here they are, one, two, three, four, five, all moved over. And just so you know, it took for three and a half gigs, my guess is just shy of eight minutes. Um, so that's not horribly bad speeds, but it's also not, you know, really good. But being able to move around, you know, when you and I are not having to carry a laptop, I can carry this actually in a jacket pocket if I felt like it. Uh, and be completely portable. So I would say this is a pretty good use of the technology and a great way to be p way more portable than you would if you uh, had to carry a laptop with you, especially a laptop of this size. So there you go, guys. You're looking at about a $60 investment for the uh, G2 Mobile Lite. And for me, this A data was uh, 
the a data was about 65 bucks as well actually um, so we're looking at a grand total 130 dollars Canadian uh, and then of course either your iPhone or Android device either one should be able to work the app is free um, so for me this will be probably one of the ways that I travel from now on to be able to back up my files alright guys talk to you later